Hello, welcome back. Today I'm out in eastern Colorado near Strasburg and we're going to be checking out the Oklahoma State University plane crash site and memorial. So follow me. All right, this is actually on private property here. I think there's some kind of ranch but they do have this fence here and they let you go down and see the crash site which I'm guessing is marked. So we're going to walk down here and see what is down here. Hopefully I don't get shot. I don't see no trespassing. So, And then later we'll go see the memorial which is right back there from where we came. So the memorial over there is to honor the memory of members of the Oklahoma State University basketball family killed when their charter plane crashed 20 minutes after takeoff from Jefferson County Airport near Boulder, Colorado. It was going to Stillwater Regional Airport after the team's loss to the Colorado Buffaloes. The plane a twin-engine Beach King Air 200 went down a short time after takeoff during a snowstorm. The pilot had become disoriented in all the snow. On January 27, 2001, their plane crashed at 6.37 p.m killing all 10 passengers on board. OSU players Daniel Lawson and Nate Fleming, along with Oklahoma City broadcaster Bill Teagans, the OSU Athletic Media Relations Coordinator Will Hancock, student assistant Jared Weberg, Director of Basketball Operations, Pat Noyes. Athletic Trainer, Brian Lustra. Television Engineer, Kendall Durfee. And Pilots, Denver Mills and Born Falstrom. All were killed. Uh, Oklahoma State also has a memorial erected to them entitled Remember the Ten inside the Gallagher Iba Arena in Stillwater, Oklahoma. See, there is still quite a lot of snow out here. There is a, a ranch or farm. And we're supposed to get a bunch more snow tomorrow and Wednesday. I think they're predicting like five to ten inches. So fortunately it's very cloudy and cold today. But I've been wanting to get out to this site. Maybe not the best time to come in January, but you know, this is when the plane crash actually happened in January. So lots of snow. This is pretty nice that they have this path here and let people come down on their land.
right, I think I see some kind of marker coming up. It is quite a nice little walk, can you to see? <laughs> Not much around here. In eastern Colorado. It's even a basketball on top. Oh my god. And it says we always remember with some remember the 10 stickers. Oh wow. In January 27th, 2001. Oh, I see some people even with some coins down here. Wow, that is really sad. It's quite ominous standing here at this exact site with like no one around so I'm just gonna stand here and give them a moment of silence for the 10 lives that were lost here. back and we will check out the memorial next. All right, we are back inside the memorial. It's right in front of the crash site, which we just walked down there to the crash site. So they have this nice memorial out front. Then there was quite Still a lot of snow over here, so we got our we got our snow thing out of the car and kind of uh, dug some of these up so we can read them. But um, it says Oklahoma State University, Stillwater, Oklahoma, 465 miles with an arrow, and then it has everyone's name. Here of the 10. So there's Daniel Paul Lawson Jr., scholar, athlete, and he was only 21 years old. It says, Danny, your presence will always be felt. God gave you to us for 21 precious years. We thank him, our son, brother, grandson, cousin, uncle, and nephew. You are greatly missed, your loving family. And sadly, his family said that um, 
two things that scared him were scary movies and getting on a prop plane. And they said Danny hated those twin engine planes. They said they talked about it a lot and said it always take him a couple hours to get over the jitters. And, uh, yes, that, that's very sad. He had this very cute thing, too. He was extremely close to his parents. He started tugging on his ear before each free throw as a reminder of his mother. He told his mother to be watching, and he'd pull on his ear, and that means I love you. That's so sweet. All right. And we have William Ransom Hancock III, Media Relations Coordinator. He was born April 6, 1969. And so he was 31 years old. So his will was brilliant, generous, kind, genuine, a musician, humorist, and wordsmith. His warm smile touched everyone. He left Andy and us all too soon, but we'll meet him in heaven someday. Oh man. This was the other OSU student. Um, Nathan Zane. Fleming, scholar athlete. He was born September 11th, 1980, so he was only 20 years old. Loving son, brother, friend, joy to God and all who knew him. Leader, encourager, lover of life. All Big 12 scholar athlete. Nate put God first, others second, himself third. We love you, Sarah Drew, mom and dad. This was Bjorn Gunnar Falstrom, corporate aviation pilot. So he was uh, a co-pilot. He was born February 13th, 1970. So he was 30 years old. It says, loving son, fiance, and friend, remembered for his endearing smile, ambition, and vitality. A commercial pilot educated in Sweden and USA. Bjorn, you are forever in our hearts and memories. All our love, Viola, Sten, and Jacqueline. Yep, and I know he was um, born in Sweden. Next we have... This is Kendall Carlton Durfee. He was a television radio engineer. He was born August 1st, 1962. And let's see. It says, um, a wonderful son, brother, husband, father, and friend. Kendall bound us together with care, affection, and generosity. His humor, talent, and intelligence will always linger with us. Thank you, Kendall. And next we have um, Jared Grant Weberg, student assistant. He was born March 9th, 1978. He was 22 year old. Jared is a beloved son, brother, and friend who placed others before himself, gave help to those in need, lived passionately, and hugged affectionately, loved his family unconditionally. We love you. And I believe he has a headstone and was buried in Oklahoma as well. Um, next, William B. Teagans. Teagans. Loved by many, July 26, 
1952. Um, see if I had any more on him. Um, yes, he was. So he was 48 years old. It says, voice of the OSU Cowboys, Oklahoma Sports Hall of Famer, eight-time sports catcher of the year. His family, friends, and fans will always remember. He shoots, he scores, he's fouled. Oh. Next, we have Pat Noyes, Director of Basketball Operations. He was born July 11th, 1973. Our beloved Pat, you touched so many lives in a short time. Your presence made Oklahoma State a better place. We're proud you are our son. Love mom and dad. Oh, so he was 27 years old. And his family had um, originally buried him in the Fairlawn Cemetery in Stillwater, Oklahoma. And then they disinterred and reburied him in Missouri, where his mother lives. And this is Denver Ray Mills. He's a CPA by profession, pilot by passion. Born January 31st, 1945. So he was 55 years old and this was the pilot. Beloved husband, father, brother, and friend, we celebrate your life and the legacy you left of unconditional love, dedication, and generosity. You are and always will be our hero. So yes, first he was you know, a CPA accountant, and flying was his passion, and he eventually, um, yeah, got his pilot license and started doing his passion. And then we have Brian Wayne, Lundstra Athletic Trainer, July 26, 1971. Um, he was 29 years old. Um, beloved son, loving brother, devoted husband, nurturing father, born with a caring nature, sense of humor, blessed with honorable character, principles, integrity, memories of you fill our hearts with love. And it said he was cremated here in his favorite vacation spot and then returned to his family in Oklahoma. those inscriptions are just breaking my heart um, there's a few other little plaques over here there's some beads in the tree and a face mask this says sincere thanks to the International Association of Approved Basketball Officials and the University of Colorado Athletic Department who donate the fence surrounding and protecting the Oklahoma State University's Colorado Memorial Site. There's another plaque here. Sincere thanks to the members of the Bennett, Byers, and Strasburg Volunteer Fire and Rescue Departments and the Adams County Sheriff's Office who donated the bench for the Oklahoma State University's Colorado Memorial Site. Let's see, there's a bench up here. Someone has made a cool little peace sign out of coins on it. And then along the fence, they just have a bunch of uh, OSU gear. There's some medals. A hat. Looks like it was a shirt. go to this other tree here. Looks like there's some golf balls under there. And 
This one says, sincere thanks to the Comanche Livestock Company who donated the land and trees for the Oklahoma State University's Colorado Memorial Site. We also wish to recognize the Herther, Losh, and Huffman families for their aid and assistance in preparing. Unfortunately, I lost the last few minutes of footage at the end here, but I wanted to show you guys some pictures of the memorial and what it looks like without snow on the ground. So you can see they do have pictures of each person, which we didn't get to see because it was covered, and also a dedication plaque. Rest in peace to the ten. Hope you enjoyed that video and getting to see the OSU plane crash site and memorial. Please like and subscribe for some more videos and I'll see you at the next grave. Thanks.